Come along with me as I fly the Pilatus PC-12 into Williston, North Dakota. Hey guys, my name is Katie. I'm a corporate Part 91 pilot, and today I'm flying the Pilatus PC-12 NG model from South Idaho to Williston, North Dakota. This is going to be about a two hour and 40 minute flight, and I already did all of the takeoff and landing distance, weight and balance, flight planning, fuel planning, filing flight plans, and all of that stuff because I'm part 91, so I kind of just do it all myself. I also did a full internal and external pre-flight and then took off, cruised over the mountains of Montana, and then had a little lunch along the way. So this was about two hours and 10 minutes into the flight, and I like to start getting ready to think about the descent and approach phase of landing a lot earlier than I need to. It's always just good to be way ahead and not be rushing to catch up. So even though I'm still about 20 minutes out, I pick up my iPad, I load all of my plates into the binders so they're easily accessible, and I make sure that I know what I'm expecting based on the weather and the temperatures and everything else on the ground. It was a really clear, beautiful day, so I pretty much knew I was just going to do a visual approach, but I always like to have an instrument approach briefed in the background. Wind 140 at 11. Visibility oh, city, one, Delta 383 level 340. Sky condition. Okay, sorry, you're up here for the Temperature 04 Celsius. Dew point 02 Celsius. Altimeter 2986. Remarks. Density altitude 1800. Williston Basin International Airport. Automated weather observation 1540. Wind 140 at 10 zero. Two niner eight six. Remarks. Density altitude one thousand eight hundred. Three one on the port five. Uh, so winds were 140 at 10, pretty obvious I'll be using runway 14, and I'll be doing the visual approach, but I always like to have an instrument approach in the background, so R now for 14 is what I briefed to myself, programmed in, and then I ran my descent checklist and made sure that I was ready to go. Out of action, just coming up about 6 miles to the east of the field, we are northwestbound headed to Regina at 4,000 feet. Any traffic in or around Weyburn at Star 9. Sky West and I were both IFR traffic going into Williston and they were going to be faster than us. So it was kind of a race to see who was going to make it in first and get cleared for the approach before the other one. Delta 2201 contact, Charlie Lake Center, 127.75. 277.5, Delta 22012. I always make sure I read all the notams going into any airport. It's really easy to get complacent and just kind of say, oh, I already read them or, you know, I already know that airport, like the back of my hand. But this is one of those things I just always try to do. I think it's a safety of flight kind of thing and just a good habit. And I also kind of take a minute in flight and I actually just kind of brief how I'm going to taxi. So taxiing can be one of the most confusing parts of the whole flight sometimes. So I know the runway now, I know the approach, and I can just take a minute and brief that whole thing to myself. At this point in the flight, we're about 40 miles to the west of the airport, so starting to descend, starting to think about everything, get ready for landing, and trying to listen to the CTAF as well as the approach controller, um, where it gets a little crazy when you have both of them going in your ear and trying to make radio calls, but it does help with your situational awareness to kind of pick up the CTAF a bit out and just see who else is in there and what's going on there. Airport 2, contact Denver Center, 133.67. Over 322.5. Good day. Center Sprint 816, flight level 410. Air Sprint 816, Southwest. Roger, welcome. Well, it's in traffic, plot 35 miles to the west, descending through 10,000 feet, landing runway 14 Williston. Well, it's in traffic, Sky West 5293, turning right base, runway 14 Williston. And we'll traffic Skyhawk 471, it's 8 miles to the south, 4,800, will be uh, southeastbound, Wilson. November 75, Delta contact, call 12775, good day. 2775, good day, 5, November Delta. Fat Lake Center, good day, Turkish 8, Mike, Tango Heavy, level 360, CPTSU. Oh, 
Willison traffic, SkyWest 5293, turning 5 mile final, runway 14 at Williston. So SkyWest 5293 was about to land in Williston. They were the other plane that we were kind of racing, and they beat us in there. The problem is now, since we're both IFR traffic, the air traffic controller can only clear one of us for the approach at a time until the other one cancels IFR. So she's on the ground in Williston. But now, just because of the way the radios are in this area, the air traffic controller can't hear her. So she has to get out her cell phone like after they've shut down at the gate and call him to cancel IFR. Or she can relay it to me because I'm airborne. My radios can pick her up even though the air traffic controller cannot. So that was the plan. SkyWest 5293 was gonna relay their cancellation to me in the air and then I would tell it to the air traffic controller, send her the cancellation, and then he would be able to clear me for the approach since she's no longer IFR traffic into Williston. Close traffic sky 471, seven miles southeast of the field, sending down through 5,000 will be uh, set down for a left down on runway 1 for Williston. Obviously, it got a little crazy there with the radios. What was happening was the SkyWest pilot on the ground at Williston was calling me on COM2 and trying to tell me, hey, I'm on the ground. Can you give my IFR cancellation to the center controller? But at the same time, the center controller was calling me and telling me to expect an IFR cancellation from her on the ground. Now, the real issue was I was about to cancel IFR anyway, so I should have just done that before then, and there would have been none of this mess, this back and forth, because I was in like 15 miles from the airport. It was blue skies and no clouds or low visibility. And I really didn't need the IFR flight plan anymore. I knew she had landed. There was really no traffic concerns. So I was just a little bit late on my cancellation, which would have kind of cleaned up that whole mess. But, you know, it all worked on the end. We had the situational awareness, all three of us, of what was going on. Um, and we just kind of relayed it back and forth. The thing I do love about this clip though is when she says happy Thursday, this is kind of like code between female pilots and controllers. So there's not very many of us out there in the skies. I think the stats are still that only 4% of airline transport pilots are women. So we have this code that we do, which is whenever you hear another lady pilot on the radios or a female controller, you say happy whatever day it is. And it kind of just means like, hey, like acknowledge that you're out there and I'm proud of you sort of thing. And it's like just another friendly little hello to another like lady pilot in the sky. So kind of cheesy, but honestly, I love that kind of stuff. And it was just a cool moment for me. So other than that, this was a very normal approach, easy visual approach. The sun was actually blinding this whole time, which is part of why I will put an instrument approach in the background as well. And you can kind of see on this video, like it is extremely bright, sun's in my face. You really can't see outside the window at all. And I'm actually on the ground here at this point taxiing and you can't really even tell. So normally I'll spend a little time in Williston and then I will take some people back to the Idaho area and spend the night in my own bed. This is the part 91 life. I really enjoy it and it has been a great fit for me. There is a lot of different options in aviation and that's part of what I love about it. So if you're looking for this kind of thing and you're excited about maybe not going the airline route, there are things out there that might be a really good fit for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment what your favorite part was or what you want to see more of, and I will try to oblige. I just love aviation. I'm a total nerd, obviously. So thanks for hanging out.